Hello viewers, this is Rajal Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to answer questions of Sultan Akhtar who wanted to know how can she find C-level or any position based peoples from any company by using LinkedIn. And in another comment she wanted to know how could she find emails for special keys like CEO or CFO from any company. So in this video I'm going to answer both of the questions that she asked and I'm going to show the full process from the beginning and if you have got the same questions and if you are if you are looking for the answers please watch this video till the end to learn the processes so here I have got an excel spreadsheet with two company names with their website information and I'm going to use LinkedIn to find their CEO's information and CFO's information and then I'll collect their email addresses by following few steps that I usually use and I'm going to demonstrate I'm going to mention all the tools that I'm going to use and I will attach the tools links in the video description for your use as well so let's begin the process by visiting our LinkedIn profile as this is our main focus here for this project so here is my LinkedIn profile I'm signed in you have to sign in with yours and then to start the process we have to collect the targeted company name from your spreadsheet copy okay and then click on the search bar of your LinkedIn dashboard then click on people and after coming to this page you have to click on all filters and then you have to put the company name on uh, sorry under the current company's uh, field so I'm going to paste the company name here and then select the company and now we have to put uh, the targeted designation that we are looking for so here under the title field so I'm going to put CEO and then we have to click on apply and here we go we have got three profiles appeared for the company and all of the all of these profiles has CEO keyword mentioned as you can see so here we have got the first person and he is CEO at MIS solutions that uh, looks good and this, for the second person we have got here the title executive assistant to the CEO so she is not our concern we are actually looking for CEO okay and the third profile as you can see here CEO at MIS solutions so I'm going to open this profile as well and let's uh, review these profiles uh, RBS Yadab so he is CEO at MIS solutions but uh, not much information available here so in this in this in this case i'm going to review this other profile that i have found so liam holmes uh, from greater atlanta area and he is ceo at mis at mis solutions and let's see uh, he has got quite a good amount of information available so i'm going to choose this profile to collect so i'm going to copy the name from here into the spreadsheet paste it here oops let's double click and then paste so okay no problem and I've just collected the contact name and then I have to collect his LinkedIn profile as we are on his profile so I'm going to copy the LinkedIn profile and pasting it here paste all right so now I have to collect uh, CFO's name for this company so I'm going to copy the company name and then I'm moving back here on the search field putting uh, clicking on people and then click on all filters then put the company name under current companies field paste the company name select the company and then we have to enter our targeted uh, titles information so as we are looking for CFO's information so I put it CFO here and then click on apply and here we go we have got the CFO at MedPro healthcare staffing so I'm going to open the profile in a new tab as you can see and here we go he is the CFO at MedPro healthcare staffing since uh, June 2009 uh, and he's working on this company so he's the right contact so I'm going to copy his name and going to paste it here on our spreadsheet and then we have got this field LinkedIn so LinkedIn profile we are going to copy the LinkedIn profile of this person as well okay so I have collected targeted contacts or C-level contacts from LinkedIn for any company okay for these companies 
so this was the answer of the first question and let's move on the uh, move on answering the second question how to find email addresses of these people so to collect email addresses of these people we have to install few a few extensions in our google chrome browser okay so the first extension is uh linkedin sales navigator google extension okay just make a google search like this and then uh, click on the first search result and here is the extension that we are looking for click on add to chrome add extension so here our extension has been added now we have to add another extension which is name to email by reply hit search and here is the extension link we have to click on the link click on add to chrome add extension and here we go we have got linkedin sales navigator extension and the name to email by reply extension added now we have to reload our linkedin uh, profile so i'm going to reload our linkedin profile from here and then we have to uh, sign in with your with our gmail account okay so as i am already signed in with my gmail account i don't have to sign in i just have to reload this uh, uh, linkedin account here okay and then i have to click on compose uh, let's move this signature from here okay and now we have to copy the contact name targeted contact name and copy and paste it here on the recipients field and then put at the rate and then we have to copy the website domain so copy and put the uh, domain after the at the rate here and remove any spaces so as i have installed here the name to email extension and linkedin sales navigator uh, extension i am seeing a profile or window appeared here and uh, as i have added this name to email by reply extension i am seeing some potential emails when when i am putting uh, the 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 first name last name and the website domain here so as you can see here i have i am seeing the first one which is liam at the rate uh, company domain is the correct email address for this person so i'm going to collect the email so here as you can see one profile appeared that means this email address is valid so i'm going to copy the email copy and collect the email address here on our spreadsheet okay so this was the email uh, process of email collection for the first contact and let's see how to collect or uh, if we can get the email address from the second contact so copy the second contact name and let's move the other contact from the previous example so paste the name here remove any spaces then put uh, at the rate and then copy the domain name again and paste it after the at the rate and remove any spacings so we'll have an, uh, the potential emails appeared here so let's just hover over on the email addresses and if the email address if any email address is valid for this person then we'll see a profile appeared here profile will be appeared here okay so let's hover over on each of the emails until we get a profile no okay so here we have got the email address f forbes at the rate the company domain and here is the profile appeared so this is the valid email address so i'm going to copy the email address again and paste it to our excel spreadsheet okay so this was the process of collecting any c-level contacts such as ceo or cfos uh, from any company by using linkedin sales navigator extensions okay linkedin sales navigator extension, uh, extension and name to um, uh, name to email by reply extension so this was the process process of collect uh, email collection okay so i hope you have found this video helpful and if you have found this video helpful please like this video and let me know your uh, 
and let me know your opinion by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching